stop placing duplicate subjects outside of perspective like this. Instead, try this way. So import your image first, then press Ctrl Command Shift N, then press OK to create a transparent layer. And after that, we should extend two of the parallel lines in the image, and that's gonna help us find vanishing point. So go to the toolbar and take line tool and from the option bar make sure to set it to pixels then change the foreground color for example to this one i'm gonna press ok and after that i'm gonna use edges of the road i'm gonna do a single click right here holding my left click and leave it right here just like this and another one doing a single click and like this i want to do it another time okay and as you see we got the vanishing point right here let me change this color this is gonna be our vanishing point right there i'm gonna press ctrl command z twice and pressing ctrl command zero to fit it under the screen now it's time to select my subject so from the layers panel i'm gonna active background layer then from the toolbar I'm going to take quick selection tool and selecting my subject like this. After you're done with selection, press and hold Ctrl Command J. And from the layers panel, I'm going to change this name to subject. Okay. Then make sure that subject layer is still activated and press and hold Ctrl Command Alt T. And after that, from the option bar, make sure that you activated reference point now easily take this point do a single click and leave it exactly right there as you see now press and hold alt and shift i'm gonna move my cursor right here doing a single click and as you see i can easily duplicate in perspective i'm gonna leave it right here for example after that press enter or ok and after that Press and hold Ctrl Command Alt Shift T and that's it. We don't need these lines anymore. I'm going to delete it. And for the last note here, what about the shadows? Their angles must shift as they extend further. Unless they move past the sun, the angles will probably be imperceptibly different. I'll definitely record a full session in the future about shadows, highlights and overall light and subject behavior. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful and you learned something new, please do a favor, thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos. Keep supporting pages and good luck.